Gossip is the devil's radio. I once saw that tatted on the arm of a woman giving me a bikini wax, and in that moment, I felt safe and reassured with the idea of this bikini waxer taking my secrets to her grave. Ouch! Beauty is suffering. It was like I was getting a Brazilian from Mother Teresa herself. But I wondered if it was realistic. I mean, if you came across something so juicy, so outrageous, so scandalous, would anyone really keep that quiet? <laughs> would Mother Teresa? Welcome to the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. She moved away from Jersey with a dream she must fulfill. She had all of the ambition and yet zero of the skill. Set her sights on stardom, it's a scratch she had to itch And if Holly was not careful, it's about to be her bitch Welcome to the Carlotta Botox Chronicles Dear Diary, the internet has some of the best memes, don't you think? Some inspire, some make us laugh, some offer cautionary advice on how to live our lives there's this one I saw. It said, never meet your heroes. And I can't say I really understood the significance of that one until the day I met one of mine. I was cast in the role of female audience member during a taping of Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune! And that's a wrap, everyone. Thank you. We had just wrapped production and I was walking from the set to my car when I saw her. My number two celebrity girl crush right after Khloe Kardashian. She was leaving her trailer, surrounded by her entourage. Now, I can't tell you her name because the story I'm about to tell you is way too scandalous. So, let's just call her Helen. We're walking. Helen is on the move. On set in one minute. Helen herself walked right by me. It was amazing. Wow. I almost reached out to touch her. The pull of her aura was that strong, but I knew better than to do such a tourist move. I am a professional. Oh my god, oh my god. I did, however, do this. Helen, Helen, can I get a selfie? Hey, back off. You do not have eye contact privileges with Helen. Oh, oh, sorry, I, 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 I didn't mean to. And then, just like that, Helen was gone. I love you, Helen! Oh man, what a star sighting. If my friends from Picatinny High School could see me now. Helen was gone, but her production trailer, the one that she just emerged from, was there, right in front of me, like, like a beacon calling out. Come, Carlotta, come, come. It was standing there, gleaming like a mirage in a godforsaken backlot desert, beckoning me to come closer. And I, thirsty for a connection with my number two celebrity girl crush right after Khloe Kardashian, could not help but be drawn to it. Closer, closer. Wow, fancy. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see the inside. If only there was a, a window. Oh crap, it's too high up. It was one of those eco-friendly green trailers I'd always heard about. Solar powered, non-toxic paint, all LED lights, furniture covered in fabrics made in non-sweatshops with non-children. The exact thing you'd expect from a socially woke, vegan, animal-loving celeb like Helen. Oh. I wished I could just go in for a minute, just soak in the space where Helen got her hair and makeup done. You can, Carlotta. The door's unlocked. What? Who said that? It's okay, Carlotta. Helen's security detail has gone to take a leak. I don't know what's happening right now. Who's talking? Come closer. Okay, just for a minute. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going into Helen's. O-M-G. This can't be right. No, Helen, no. Dear Diary, there in Helen's trailer, my every dream was dashed by the discovery I made. 
It was absolutely criminal. Helen had swapped out all the low energy LED lights for energy hogging incandescent bulbs. 75 waters. <gasps> I looked in the bathroom and it was even worse. The water conserving faucets on the sink and the shower were dismantled. The water poured out of them like fire hydrants. The low flush toilets had been jury rigged to be in this nightmarish constant flush mode. In the kitchen, the recycling bins were empty and all the cans and bottles had been thrown in the regular trash. Helen was a landfill terrorist. It was an environmental hellscape. Helen was a lie. No, Helen, no. You're so woke. How could you? This is terrible. But Wow, yeah, looking in this mirror, I do look 10 years younger, and these warm incandescent bulbs do make the creepiness around my neck seem less... No, this is wrong. I can't believe my idol Helen is involved in black market light bulbs. You are my idol. Right after Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> and as if this couldn't get any worse, out of my eye, what do I see in a trash can near the makeup table? Dear diary, it was a wrapper from in and out Burger. This can't be. Helen is a total fraud. First, I find out she's not an environmentalist, and now I discover she's not a vegan. In fact, I bet she hates animals. Hey, what the hell are you doing in here? You are not authorized. Oh, crap. No way I was getting past this massive security guy. It was like Lou Ferrigno and Jason Momoa had a baby, and then they raised that baby on a steady diet of steroids. Hey, get back here! I ran out the back door of the trailer. I ran and ran and just barely escaped capture. I gotta get back to Dave. But not before I grabbed that in and out burger wrapper. If I was going to expose Helen and her hypocrisy to the whole world, I was gonna need some proof. Dave! Dave! Open up! What the hell, Lottie? It's better be important. I'm watching the WTBA finals. The what? Duh! It's just the Oscars of bowling. Quick, let me in. Shut the door. I think someone is following me. Lottie, relax. What happened? What's going on? What's with the in and out burger wrapper? Did you bring me any? I downloaded then, Dave on then, everything then, I had just I seen it. on the lot. And then, and then there were these light bulbs and, and the toilets. <gasps> the toilets, they were like fire hydrants. Okay, slow down, slow down. You're not making sense. You need a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Finally, I got the story out. Every sort of detail. Dave was great, so patient, and as usual, he had the best advice. We gotta call TMZ. They have a tip line, and I'm pretty sure they pay. I don't know. I mean, if they find out that it's me, and I'll, I'll never work in this town again, I, I'll, I'll be blacklisted. So, you give a fake name. Carlotta Botox is already a fake name. You mean a faker name? Whoa, I just got an idea. Light bulb moment. Tell me. You give your real name. <sighs> Kitty Kaniki? Yeah, that sounds totally fake, and I'm the only person that knows it, right? No one can trace it back to you. Oh, 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 and I can use my Irish accent, the one I just learned. What a magically delicious idea. You have reached the TMZ tip line. Please hold for the next available operator. Dave, I'm kind of nervous. Don't be. You're gonna be fine. Remember, you're a trained actress. You got this. Thank you for calling the TMZ tip line. What's your tip? Is this the TMZ tip line? Sir, do you have a tip or not? Sir? Hey, I need to speak with... I'm having difficulty understanding you. That is because I'm calling from Ireland. I don't care if you're calling from Mars, okay, sweetie? You got a tip or no? I need to talk to Harvey Levin. Harvey? <laughs> no one talks to Harvey Levin. Not no one. Not no how.
Well, I want to report a scandal. One that will rock the entertainment world. Okay, Deep Throat, we'll be the judge of that. You start spilling this alleged scandal, or I'm hanging up. This involves a major celebrity. I can't say their name, but it rhymes with Helen. Helen. Okay. I told TMZ all about Helen. The Echo Trailer, uh-huh. the light box, uh-huh. the toilets. Toilets. Got it. Okay, truth. This seems pretty weak sauce, story-wise. What? When this gets out, it will break the internet. Okay, let me put it this way. On the Cardi B, Nicki Minaj hair pulling scale, by which we at TMZ rate all stories, this is like a one. A one? You can't be serious. Unless we have, like, the slowest news day in history, I don't think it's going to make the cut. But thanks for calling the TMZ hot tip line. Have a blessed day. Wait, but but the burger wrappers and and the toilets. The toilets, wait! Flash forward to the next day. Recorded in front of a live studio. Dave! Dave! It's on. TMZ is on. Okay, fingers crossed, Lottie. Welcome back to TMZ Live. One last bit of business before we close out the show on what has surely been the slowest news day in TMZ history. Okay, what do you got? Harvey, this story comes from a tipster in Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Faith in Begora that it saves today's otherwise deadly show. Oh my god, this is it. This is my story. Shh. It involves the behavior of a major Hollywood celebrity and the strange goings on inside their makeup trailer. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Sir Ian McKellen has reportedly turned his production trailer into an echo chamber. Ian McKellen? What? No, I said it rhymes with Helen. It's not Ian McKellen. I don't get it. Why does the star of Lord of the Rings need an echo chamber? Not an echo chamber, an eco trailer. Presumably because he likes the sound of his own voice. Oh, man. TMZ obtained this exclusive audio. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Ian McKellen. Helen. What is happening right now? Jeez, this guy's seriously dicked up. It really was a slow news day. Join us again tomorrow on TMZ, when hopefully some former child actor from the cast of Mr. Belvedere will become impregnated with a space baby. God willing. So, while that was disappointing in the moment, overall, it was probably for the best. I'm not cut out to be a whistleblower. I have no business exposing Helen or anyone else. We're all just human beings and we all make mistakes. Even Helen. Let sleeping dogs lie. That was another meme I saw on the internet. And maybe that's the lesson for today. I'm done playing the devil's radio. I am done with gossip. If someone has a secret, maybe they have it for a damn good reason. Ah! Ah, We almost done down there? Not quite. You are very hairy, Carlota Botox. Ah! Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, but why don't we keep that between us, okay? Ah! Oh, shut up. Gird your loins, 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 loins. Here come the credits, credits. The Carlotta Botox Chronicles is written, produced, directed, and edited by Anne Sloan for Trojan Cat Media and is co-produced by Laura Libson. It stars Samantha Gordon and Trevor Lesore. This episode also features David Allen, Alexandra Cognac, and Chelsea Quoca. It was recorded at Clear Lake Recording and was engineered by Ivan Rivera. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe and give us a rating on Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcatcher. Tell your friends and share the episode. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Carlotta Podcast. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Carlotta Podcast. That's it for this episode. Join us next time, and thanks for listening. Next time on the Carlotta Botox Chronicles, Carlotta meets the number one inventor in the number two industry. IBS Weekly called me the Elon Musk of the colonic industry. Oh my goodness. We're developing a pitch for Kim Kardashian's team to see if this is something she might get behind. (laughs) No pun intended. Wow, Kim, huh? Not even one of the lesser Kardashians? Nope. Going straight to the mother load with this one, Clarissa. This invention will explode. It's actually... Oh, never mind. Well, 
It's just gotta be so cool to be on the forefront of this important medical breakthrough. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of breakthroughs though, I do need a test pilot, Loretta. Test pilot? 